Dual-worthy lightsaber blades must be strong enough to endure sparring and also safe enough to minimize harm to an opponent or to yourself because lightsaber dueling should be fun. We don't want anybody to get hurt. So it's very important to have the right gear. So that means the, the right lightsaber hilt, the right lightsaber blade, and also the right uh, lightsaber um, safety gear. So um, this video though is focusing on the blade specifically. So if you'd like to learn more about some of those other things, that's a topic for another video. Now, just a little bit of a note at the beginning, this list um, adapts and expands upon rules from the Saber Legion. So the Saber Legion is the world's biggest saber dueling organization. And if you plan on joining a lightsaber dueling, dueling club like the Saber Legion or, you know, somebody else, make sure you check with that organization first before you purchase equipment because you want to make sure that you're getting something that is acceptable within that organization. So um, plus, you know, people will probably have some good insights and they'll be able to point you to a nice like starter lightsaber too. So anyway, that's a little disclaimer there and a little bit of a shout out to the Saber Legion. All right, the first trait of a dual worthy lightsaber blade is it's a custom saber blade. So that means that it's going to be one of these removable tube blades like this, and it won't be one of the Force FX lightsabers or the Disney lightsabers like the Savi's Workshop or Legacy lightsabers. Those unfortunately are not generally considered dual worthy. Some people do convert them into kind of a dual worthy form. That means that they kind of take out the um, standard blade that's included with it and they, they um, kind of make it so that you can um, install a custom saber blade in it. But anyway, dual worthy lightsabers, you guys, they use a custom saber blade. The next trait is that it's a heavy grade blade. So heavy grade blade is referring to the thickness of the blade. Now the Saber Legion in particular, they have a very specific standard, but you know, this is generally the case um, for others as well. A heavy grade blade um, means that it's going to be a polycarbonate tube with a 1 8 inch thick wall. Okay, so a lot of times lightsaber companies, they'll offer one to two um, kind of thicknesses for blades. They'll have a thin walled or sometimes they'll call it a, a mid-grade blade and which is thinner and, and here's an example on the left. And then they'll offer a thick walled blade or heavy grade blade and here's one on the right. And you can visibly see how much thicker the um, heavy grade blade is. So that's pretty important standard as well. Just the thinner walls, you know, they're they're just um, they're they're not as durable, and um, especially if you're doing some heavy dueling, you really need to have a stronger blade, you know, with that that uh, appropriate thickness to it, and um, yeah. So another thing to consider is actually the blade tip, and let me just kind of show these blade tips. So generally, an acceptable blade tip, um, it needs to be rounded. So you can't have kind of a bullet tip like this. And that's because these can be actually kind of pokey. So if somebody gets hit with one of these, it can hurt a little bit. And so um, kind of a dual worthy lightsaber blade should have a rounded blade tip at the top. And um, you know, if you're going to be dueling as well, a lot of times people will require that the blade tip is kind of um, reinforced at the top, so it's kind of has some tape, you know, keeping the blade tip attached, or even kind of heat shrunk. And, um, you know, the reason is because in some of this heavy dueling, uh, it's pretty common for lightsaber blade tips to actually come off, even if the blade doesn't break itself. So, you know, a lot of times if people are doing some type of competitive dueling, that will be a requirement. All right. Uh, another thing that's required that people may not think about quite as often is a blade should have the appropriate light diffusion. So basically, a blade needs to diffuse enough light so that it's not harmful to an opponent, okay? You don't want to blind an opponent. And so it can't be like a super transparent blade. A lot of blades will have kind of an opaque appearance like this, or they'll have like some um, blade diffusion film on the inside. And then, and then you're kind of squared away. So you can see how op opaque this blade is here when it's illuminated. But, you know, if I could just kind of move the blade this way and you could see the LED, that would be, well, not a, not a very good thing. That could be kind of blinding to somebody. And in a similar um, kind of 
uh, similar thing to that is um, the blade tip needs to be reflective on the bottom so it needs to have like a little reflective disc and it can't be the shine through style blade tip and that's because you know same reason the shine through style blade tip allows light out of the blade tip and the reflective disc um, style reflects the light back into the blade so both of those are just for safety you know it, it's it's also it's not fair and it's not really safe to blind your opponents that way all right and the fifth and final quality or trait of a dual worthy lightsaber blade is it needs to be just a removable blade okay so it can either be a non-component blade or a neo pixel blade so uh well what is a non-component blade and a non-component blade it's just kind of this standard like static blade where it doesn't have any electronics inside of it. But, um, you know, this is a pretty standard type of blade, although I picked up the mid-grade blade. I should pick up the heavy-grade blade. Um, so, you know, these are pretty standard, um, just something similar to this thick-walled blade uh, with the appropriate diffuse lighting, and then you just attach it to the light source, you know, for uh, an, an in-hilt LED lightsaber. But um, NeoPixel blades are becoming acceptable as well with dueling, um, and, and those ones would also need to use similar blade stock. So if you are going to use a NeoPixel lightsaber and NeoPixel lightsaber blade, it would need to be thick-walled as well. So just because it's NeoPixel doesn't mean that it's acceptable to, uh, to use a uh, kind of thinner blade like this. So those are just some guidelines for you, and I do recommend checking out the Saber Legion. They have lots of great detailed guidelines there, and um, plus, you know, they're just kind of a neat lightsaber organization. So uh, feel free to check them out, and definitely comment below if you'd like.